Hey everybody, in this project you'll need this splatter screen, this burlap bag that I got from Dollar General, and a variety of floral picks that I also got from Dollar Tree, along with some paper doilies, but I'll show you how I use those later on. So first I'm just going to start stacking up the floral pick. So I'm just putting this white floral down. And then on top of that, I put two bundles of these small pink flowers and then some red roses and then some peach roses. You want to have a zip tie handy and then you're just going to zip tie those all together. Now you have this cute bouquet. Next, you'll want to grab that burlap bag from Dollar General, and you could use anything to stuff this up, whether it be paper towels, tissue paper, whatever you have on hand. Just use something to stuff that right up, and then I just put the bouquet of flowers right inside of the bag. Next, you'll want to take that splatter screen that came from Dollar Tree, and I'm using some 22 gauge floral wire, and I'm just folding that in half and poking this right through the left side of that burlap bag. This is really easy to poke through because, again, it is a burlap bag, so it has really, really small holes in it. And then you want to just do the same thing to the right side of the bag as well. And once that was complete, you want to just poke the ends of that floral wire right through that splatter screen. Again, this is really easy to poke right through since the splatter screen does have holes in it. And once you have both sides through the splatter screen, just flip it upside down and give that floral wire a nice twist. Next, I just made a bow using my Easy Bow Maker. I did make a video on how I make my bows in a previous video, so be sure to check that out. And on the back of the bow, I did tie some floral wire right around it. So now I'm just placing that bow right at the top of the burlap bag poking that floral wire right through to the back of the splatter screen, and then again, just giving that a nice twist. Now that that is put down, now you could go around and fluff that bow right up. And I also cut my tails a little bit shorter just because they were covering a lot of the bag, but if you wanna keep those long, you could do that as well but I think this is coming out so, so cute. So since you could still kind of see that splatter screen along the edges, I'm using these paper doilies that you could get from Dollar Tree. I just folded those in half, applied some hot glue on the back of them, and then I just started placing those all throughout the sides of the splatter screen. And you wanna just do this to both sides until that splatter screen is completely covered up. Another FYI when using the hot glue, make sure that you constantly pick up the splatter screen because that hot glue could seep through and you don't want this to get stuck to your surface. And I think the addition to the doilies really just brought this project together. But be creative on how to cover those up if you decide to create your own. But overall, I think this came out absolutely stunning. This is something so different and fun. I hope this inspired you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you guys so, so much and have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.